Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Always appreciate when you watch what we do. Bay Lake Towers at Disney World is where we're at next to the Contemporary. And we want to show you the room. It's a pre-renovation room, right, honey? Well, it's pre-renovated. They're renovating this room next year. We're going to show you what it is before. And this is a lake view. Mm -hmm. So there's lake view, there's standard view, and then there's park theme view, park right? View. Theme park view. So we don't have a theme park view. We have a lake view, and I guess you can see the pool too. But we want to show you what it's all about. So it's going to be the same layout with the renovation, but they'll be all new like appliances and things like that. This is what it looks like before, though. You come in. This is a studio apartment. You've got a queen-size bed right off the bat. And I love how they do the towels. I mean... It shows this. I actually turned this into a bookmark. This is my bookmark for any and for any books that I'm reading. And I do love the nightstands. Although they're small, there is a his and her nightstands. It's one of my biggest scrapes as we are doing these videos. And they are there. That's all you care about, right? I will tell you the living area is pretty small. This can sleep four, but to be honest with you, it's a studio apartment. Um, maybe two adults and one kid, maybe two kids if they don't mind sharing a bed. There is a place to eat. Small, two chairs. Uh, there's a mirror behind it and a light right above it. And then you've got, uh, we'll go out on the patio here in a second. Well, it is a lake view. We do see the lake. Well, we'll go out there in a second, but let's show them the rest of this. There's a uh, pull-out couch that'll sleep two. Uh, again, two kids or two adults, so you can sleep four in here. And then a footstool. Um, as I said, it's pre-renovation because, you, as you know, the TV is pretty small here. This will change with the renovation. This will all be new, but I'm not sure what it's going to look like. The, all we know is going to be a hard refresh in 2024. Remember, this tower was built in 2008. They did do a soft goods refresh, but it's due for a hard refresh. So we are not sure what the layout will be. Mm -hmm. But at least there is a lot of draw, drawer space because I know in other locations there's not a lot of drawer space when they sleep five. Yeah. So, so again, it will be the same layout as far as the architecture is concerned. It's everything else inside they'll swap out. My guess is they're going to change the carpeting to the laminate, which mm -hmm. is what they've been trending to. Right. They'll probably change the bed to uh, just a pat platform bed with under storage. Right. Most likely. They'll get rid of the uh, dresser. We're not sure. We think if you get the big TV, you've got to put a uh, put a dresser up there. You've got to or, give them the room. Or they could get, just get rid of this part here. Yeah, that's really nothing there. Right. So, so they most likely get rid of this part, the top. They may keep the bottom. We're not sure, mm -hmm. but most likely they will probably get rid of that and do a wall bed. Yeah, that's but, what we're thinking. They're yeah, and we're seeing that in a lot of places at Disney. They use the Murphy beds on the wall, and there's a possibility, and I don't think this is going to happen, but there's a possibility that they could do a wall bed on this wall and then uh, turn this area here uh, into a small... They're not going to do that? They're not going to do that. This is a four sleeper. Okay. It's going to be a four sleeper because the room size, this is one of the smallest rooms on Disney Vacation Club. You didn't know that, did you? Well, I'll tell you, I like it because it's convenient to Magic Kingdom. You can walk to the Magic Kingdom. Because there's there. a lot of space in here. You don't realize there is a kitchen area. It's a good-sized kitchen area. So let's go inside and take a look at what they got. Microwave. They do have a toaster, two-slice toaster. Um, there's an ice bucket. And right now, there's ice on the fourth and the ninth floors, just so you know. I found that out the hard way. Uh, they do have a baby fridge, and there is a freezer section in oh, there. Oh, good. Right? So some of them don't have freezer sections. This one does. Uh, they do have a Cuisinart coffee maker. Uh, not the pod. Do you, that's not the one. The, Keurig. The Keurig. Uh, this is a Cuisinart. Um, actually, Ooh, they got real, glass. real glassware. But not real plates or, or, or bowls. Just real glasses and real coffee mugs. Interesting. They've got uh, plastic silverware. Um, coffee for the coffee maker. Um, they've got a can opener, they've got a church key, and they've got a wine opener. Oh, they've even got a coffee stir there. Bar sink with just soap and sponge. This one's empty, and then that one's got a roll of paper towels in it on the bottom. And there should be a trash can underneath here. Yes, there's yes, there a trash is. can plus extra soap. And there, on the other side... There is a little extra storage space if you want to you know, bring like a case of water or something, uh, or your foodstuffs that you bring in. You can put them over here if you want. There is a lot of storage, and there has been instances where if you have a baby, they would basic, basically put the baby in here mm -hmm. and put the pack and play in here. 
and the, when they first built these, the sink was in this location, right. and people hated it, so they reverted the sink into the bathroom. So before, their sink was the other way. Yeah, and, and it, was a, it was it. a pain in the neck, to be honest with you, because you'd use the bathroom, you'd have to come all the way out, go into the kitchen to use the sink. Right. So that's the bathroom. Let's go in the bathroom. So I do like the tiling, but who knows whether it's going to stay or not. They have a single sink um, with all your towels and washcloths there. Uh, they have more towels and washcloths up here. Uh, ADA compliant toilet. And then a couple more towels hanging in the. Oh, they they didn't they haven't got the pumps here yet. They still use the uh, soaps. The soaps, the but individuals. Most, most likely those will go away, mm -hmm. and there'll be pumps. And I've already been in here before, so I know it's tall enough. But I'll show you. I'll do the Steve test. So it is tall enough. Yeah, we're pretty sweaty from the park. That's yes. why Steve's head is pretty oh, sweaty. Yeah, we spent all morning at, at uh, the Magic Kingdom, um, and they do have a handicap bar in the tub. They have uh, the clothesline, too, which I'm not going to pull out because I've broken more than one of those. You did not. I have. Okay, the thing about this one, in the beginning, they had trouble with this for locking doors. The lock they put on is supposed to be here, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see. See, a lot of people still oh, actually, have issues with it. It actually works this time. Yeah. So this is a locking door. When they first had this, the doors did not lock, and they did put one on. Yeah. And then this is the connector to a one bedroom. So you can actually turn this into a two bedroom um, with a connector. So, and this is a, this is a studio lockout. Are all the studios here lockouts or just some? They're all lockouts. Okay. So let's go outside and take a look at the lake view and then we'll come back and look at the closet. Yep. So we're going out here. Right now you can really see the pool. You can see the pool music and we do have a view of the lake. And there's a pretty big balcony. Look at the size of this balcony. This one's not bad. No. Um, compared to some of the balconies on property. And to be honest, I like this view because you have a really good lake view. And you also have a really good pool view here. Because at night there is a show that travels on the lake. And you can see it from here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they do parties down at the pool too. So you can check that out as well. you got a couple of chairs. And you've got a um, side table. So you can sit out here and drink your coffee. And this one, to be honest with you, I think has morning sun, not afternoon sun. Um, but I can't guarantee that. So let's go check out the closet. We, we missed one more thing. This is the closet. Should be a pretty standard closet, I think. Mm -hmm. Extra pillow and blanket for the, for the hide-a-bed. Um, it's got uh, hangers, iron, ironing board. Uh, it's got a luggage rack. And a safe. And then they've also got, uh, oh, this is if you want to do dry cleaning or such right. here. So, so, you know, even though it is a studio apartment or studio at Bay Lake Towers, there is laundry facilities on the first floor if you need to do laundry. Yes, there is. Um, so that's it. I mean, this is the studio apartment, Bay Lake Towers. Thanks for watching this video. Appreciate it. Have a magical day.